right, I'm trying to use this car to demonstrate where I think people get mixed up. The forward speed of the car is exactly the same as the backward speed of the conveyor belt, thus the car remains stationary, and this is why people think that the plane's not taking off, because there it is, it's stationary, it's not moving. Yeah, but cars and airplanes move by different means. The car is sending power to its wheels, that's what makes it move forward or backward or keep up with the conveyor belt. Airplanes have free spinning wheels, and they move because there's a propeller pushing air, which makes the airplane go forward. Exactly. So, if I remove power to the wheels of this car, thus turning it into a plane, and then my hand pushing will represent the force of the propeller pushing against the air, and I feel almost no resistance on the conveyor belt. So the plane moves forward. And it takes off. Exactly. So let's get this straight. A car gets its thrust through its wheels, creating forward motion using the ground it's on. But a plane gets its thrust through its engines, which are independent of its wheels, and so is not affected by the ground, or in this case, the conveyor belt. When engines are on, forward motion will happen. That's the theory. But to cement their place in history,